Welcome to another video from Dr. Locke. I wanted to show you the E-Racer by Advanced Diagnostics. Now this particular machine came out uh, some years ago and I just basically wanted to show it because you're probably never going to see one again or a lot of people might have never even seen one in the first place. So what it actually is, it's used for resetting immobilizer um, ECUs on cars, on Toyotas. This particular machine is for Toyotas and Toyotas only. The reason I bought it was because I had a couple in that month and I thought, oh, you know, we don't have a dedicated machine to do it, so this one seemed pretty good. One of the reasons that really sold me on this particular machine was not the carriage or any of that, it was the actual um, instructions. The instructions there, as you can see, advanced diagnostics. ECU resetting technology. Okay, so before we get into it, um, this particular machine zaps z these little tiny chips right there, and when you drop them on the floor, they're super hard to find. But the good thing about this is it does inline programming. So you take your ECU out of the car, which it will be in the instructions, and then you simply remove this case like this, and then you slide it in here, and then you put this clamshell over the top, like so. And then you clip it on these little prong things here, which we're, we're missing a couple. And then basically you turn the machine on. You select either one or two. One for uh, Corolla and one, two for Camry. Once it's in there, you push the programming and away you go. It'll then set the ECU back to factory default, meaning that you don't need to buy another ECU, meaning that uh, the ECU then will accept the new car key that you add to it. And as a lot of people know, Toyota 4C are a fixed code. So you can't, um, you know, just add any code. You've got a fixed code in the key, and then it'll allow the ECU to go into virgining state. So then you can run through and enroll the keys just like it was a brand new ECU. So basically, this um, it, was, it was a good little box. I mean, I used it a couple of times, and to be honest with you, that's real dust. That's real dust. In the last three to four years, I haven't used it at all. And I'll, I'll tell you why in a little while. And if you look in here, you can actually see spider webs. They're real spider webs right there. Uh, under here, it actually does inline programming. So it picks up half of the SOIC chip there, then connects on there to another point, And then these two points here seem to be some sort of ground or so, so it doesn't corrupt anything. They're spring-loaded. These ones are spring-loaded. They're like little little tall bullets actually spring-loaded. They're pretty cool. This one here got bent, and now I've got to find a replacement for it. So that's annoying. That's one of the reasons why I kind of stopped using it, because uh, I had to do that. Also, one of the flaws I found with this uh, particular machine is you've got to put it in there and really squeeze and hold hold it tight to, to get it to work. Other than that too, it's pretty big and chunky. Um, well, it's not huge. I mean, you're probably talking 300 by 200 millimeters. I'll just measure it with my dirty, dirty ruler. 25 by 14 and probably, you know, 100 high. So, I mean, it is a good machine. It still works, but um, <clears throat> it's not getting a lot of use these days. So, I was going to use it again today. I had a Toyota Camry, a 97 model, but um, the customer wasn't happy paying any money. Uh, basically, I quoted, I'll, I'll tell everyone what I quoted, I quoted 350 Now that's to go out to their place, make a key, then supply two transponder keys, pull the ECU out, flash it, put it back in the car, and then enroll the keys. So, you know, machinery costs money. This particular machine here, I think I paid a thousand bucks for it when it came out. Uh, well, a few years before I, I got it, it came out, and uh, somebody else paid about either three to four thousand for it. Now I can understand buying all these machines, but did it make its money? No. Was I better off taking those jobs and buying this machine? Was I better off just not doing those jobs at all? To be honest, um, I would have been better off not doing those jobs at all because I never really recoup my money on this. The customer, even on the example I was giving you, three hundred dollars, you know, three fifty. That that's quite reasonable for the amount of work, you know, uh, all the work that's in it and uh, the procedure, the machinery, you've got to be able to pay machinery off at some stage. So, no, I never really recouped my money on this one. It sounded like it a good idea at the time. Um, yeah, it does do a job, but for taking on that extra, that extra uh, 
as you say, product in, of, of service um, and recouping the money off the devices, no. Reminds me of my first um, MVP from Advanced Diagnostics. I never paid that one off either. I used it about 20 or 30 times and then um, redid the tokens a few times. I went to use it and um, the screen went. I called tech support. They said it was no longer supported. Buy a new one. So pretty much I was out there. So I ended up selling it off for a couple of hundred bucks and it still had five, six tokens on it. Tokens were worth more than the machine. Uh, he ended up getting it going, which is good. It's another locksmith, you know, so if I lose on it, well, at least somebody else picked up on it. So this machine here, um, yeah, if you've, look, if you've got, if you've got Toyota Camrys and um, you've got a fair few of them and you want to kind of you know just a simple machine to give somebody with all the instructions then yeah it is good i'll show you what else uh, the instructions and all cut i'll just show you the back see genuine genuine looks like 70s technology but it's not it's 90 98 99 technology all right so it comes with the book now this is toyota camry resetting i'm gonna have to focus on this so you can read it Okay, it's the best we can do. So there's the ECU there. Now this was what made um, it such a reasonable option at the time when you're looking at spending money and things you want to know that um, you can actually get the job done. So by having good instructions like this was easy enough just to read straight through once and kind of know what you're doing. Now this is the part that's going to, you know, kind of make it uh, where you can see how much money you're actually going to make from it. Uh, Toyota Camry, all models up to 2002 so to date this is 17 years old okay well that it does cars 17 years old basically it goes from the early model Camrys all the way up to 2002 so there's only you know what is that I think the Camrys came out in 96 96 so we're talking an eight-year period and those type of cars getting squashed every day for for scrapping value now so there's not a lot of them still out there, but it did give you instructions how to find, how to remove the bolts, um, how to identify the ECUs, and the chip that was in question was this one right here. So there we are there. And that's that's where it clamped onto to earth out. It tells you how to select. So the instructions, nice and easy, straightforward, boom, boom, boom. So anybody, you could give this to an apprentice, they could read this book and they could go do their first ECU, which is kind of the, the point of it. You know, you didn't want any any um, delays on making that type of key or any any problems or, you know, corruptive files or anything. You basically buy this, go there, do make a key, which locksmiths can do, and then if you're confronted by um, ECU flashing, well, you just read the instructions, remove the ECU from where it's located, Okay, so this one is Toyota Corolla, um, 2000, sorry, 1998 to 1999, so it only covers one year there, and then 1990 to 1991, so it covers like a year there. So you got to remember too, this was a three to four thousand dollar machine when it came out. And uh, the last few customers that I used this on, I did have to charge for it, and. Um, yeah, you know, I think I charged them 400 and something dollars back in the day. So this one here has a big plate, you remove all those bolts, you find the ECU, you scratch your hand doing it, because it's in a real nasty spot. If you can't do that, you follow the wire, it says to disconnect the wire there. Moving along, you finally get your box out of the car, here's your box. You move along, you put it in that cradle that I showed you with the broken pin. Plug in that, disconnect that. So plug in that, connect that, turn on the power, select bank one, waiting for the red light to stop flashing, go back, put it in the car, turn the key on a few times, backwards, forwards, and you're done. So that's it. That's the Advanced Diagnostics E-Eraser. You're probably never going to see one again because uh, they're not out there. And what, what it is is basically just a SOIC or PIC um, programmer. It's just a little tiny computer chip programmer in a fancy case with a fancy adapter uh, to be able to do inline programming. I mean, there are many other ways of doing this too. Here's another way I uh, came up with in 1997. So it's an old case that's uh, 
clearly been chewed out. Here's my power supply. So that's my power coming from it. The idea was you could just plug it in, plug it into your computer and get it working. But I included that later on so I could just run it off a battery source. And all it is, is just a little tiny pony prog programmer um, that, you know, is the actual board inside is like quite small. You got your cable on the back there. Well, that one to that one and then you just plug it in the back of the computer runs off a little free shareware program pony prog that you can download from um, free online then uh, I bought this uh, nice clip here but this one's this one's kind of had it um, 3m make them but now you can pick them up for pick them up for ten dollars for for two of them and that's just plugged in there so the idea is you put the power to it and you'd be able to read and then you'd be able to write clear change whatever is on those little chips and I, sh I showed you those little chips there they are there so that was able to do the job just as well the only difference was I didn't have uh, the information like I didn't have the nice pictures I didn't have remove this bolt remove that bolt I didn't have um, the files it took me a little while to get the correct files but on saying that I could use this more than I could use this and this one cost me about 20 20 bucks 30 bucks with the cables all up put together as where the other one cost me a um, thousand bucks second hand and a few years old so value for money yeah I can use this and I can use it on other models too I'm not limited to one year of Corolla or three or four years of Camry I can use this on even current current cars because they are just the same little chip um, it only does those particular these ones here these little chips but as long as I can get the file I can use this um, this as well and things have advanced since uh, this machine here too I mean this machine here is good but you kind of need to know a little bit about the chips um, like I couldn't give this to an apprentice and expect them to go uh, do a car as where I could could have given this machine and I could have given these instructions you know maybe a second or third year apprentice but okay so how how's it moved on uh, where is my other white box Oh, I seem to have misplaced one of my boxes. All right, well, I was going to show you my latest um, EPROM programmer, but um, which is a really good brand of one, but I, I didn't bring it. So anyway, I'm sure most.